Good afternoon and welcome to Riot Times TV News. I'm Mick Hu. Today is day two of Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim's Sodomy II appeal at the federal court. The court began sitting at about 9.40 a.m. with the defense continuing its submissions. For more details, please visit our website at www.riottimes.com. On Monday night, the opposition leader addressed a crowd of some 2,000 people outside the University of Malaya's Day 1 Tunku Chancellor. Students and Anwar supporters had stormed and crashed through the main gates of the university after an attempt to stop the event, dubbed 40 years from UM to prison from taking place. A ban was slapped on the event by the UM authorities. Many have described the whole episode an historical event. Many academics have said the episode is a demonstration that students are cherishing the principle of academic freedom and wanted to reclaim their rights to it. In fact, some have even said that the university management was badly embarrassed by the whole episode. Despite using all the tricks in the book to stop the forum, including cutting off the electricity during the event, Anwar's triumphal entry into his old alma mater was a clear indication that university students have matured. The university's feeble attempt at curbing academic freedom is clearly, as Riot Times columnist Dr. S. Ramakrishnan says, mere gates cannot hold back change. He added that the university's prestige and its long tradition of being one of Malaysia's most intellectually vibrant institutions has been ruined. But despite the darkness that veiled the university, the light of academic freedom shone on that night very brightly. That was the 130 News on Riot Times TV. I'm Mick Hu and see you soon.